do you know that energy loss is one of the fastest growing legal practices in the world? To make power or solar plants risk free, bankable, and future ready for transaction, let's understand energy loss. Dijit Namaskar and welcome to Energy Dialogue with Rat Singh Naranjan. Sir, you have rendered many legal opinions on complex energy loss issues. My question to you is, what is energy loss? Dijit Namaskar, a wonderful question, Sanvi, you have asked me. So, if somebody wants to understand energy loss, five and five thing comprises together. It is energy loss. Number one, Constitution of India. So, Constitution of India. in its schedule defines what are the powers of central government and state government to make energy laws so for example in the concurrent list the constitution says that electricity especially for electricity it is a joint responsibility of central and state government that means central government can also make law and state government can also make law similarly uh, for uh, with respect to nuclear power plants it is only and only the central government which can make law with respect to electricity duty or water taxes it is only state government which can make law so first component of energy law is constitution second component of energy law is acts so whatever may acts are made by the parliament of india or the state legislature they also constitute electricity laws energy laws so for example the parliament of india has made electricity act 2003 energy conservation act 2000 atomic energy act 1962 they are all energy laws similarly the state governments or state legislature has made state electricity reforms act state electricity dues recovery act state uh, electricity taxes act so electricity duty act water taxes act they together act so second component of energy laws is acts third component of energy law is rules rules made by the central government whether it is ministry of power or with uh, ministry of new and renewable energy so 32 rules have been made by the central government with respect to Uh, electricity sector and all the state governments also have some powers to make rules so various state governments had made to make rule have made rules with respect to electricity laws fourth component of law or energy law is regulations they are specified by independent regulatory commissions so at the central level central electricity regulatory commission makes rules at the state level state electricity regulatory commission makes regulations and for two or more states or two or more union territories they are a joint electricity regulatory commission they also make regulations so regulations are made by independent regulatory commission such as central electricity regulatory commission state electricity regulatory commission and joint electricity regulatory commission it is also law further to enforce all the above first constitutional provisions second acts made by the central government or state government third rules made by the central government or state government and fourth regulations made by the cerc serc and jrc they have to be enforced they can be enforced by gazette notification and to enforce various provisions of constitution act rules and regulations gazette notification are issued this is the fifth component of energy laws so energy law comprises of five things constitution acts rules regulations and gazette notification अब देर इज अ काउंटर क्वेश्चन एंड देर इज अ चैलेंज चैलेंज ये है कि पावर इंजीनियर्स ने बोला कि सर ये कॉम्प्लेक्स यू नो लीगल प्रोसीजर्स वेदर इट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एक्ट रूल्स रेगुलेशन गजेट नोटिफिकेशन हमें क्लियरली नहीं समझ में आ रहे क्या आप एक कंसोलिडेटेड स्कीम या कंसोलिडेटेड रूल कंसोलिडेटेड रेगुलेशन या कंसोलिडेटेड एक्ट कोई बना सकते हो या प्रोसीजर बना सकते हो सो वी कैन रीड एंड देन अप्लाई सिंस we have to run the largest machine of india so largest machine of india is the grid and if somebody is running the largest machine of india he needs to apply law so then central electricity regulatory commission jo applied law hai usko ek you know collect kar liya and ek code bana diya aur code ka naam tha indian electricity grid code it is a systematic collection of law jo panch cheeze maine banayi uska systematic collection hai so first indian electricity grid code was released in 2000 then it was revised in 2006 and then it was revised in 2010 today that 2010 indian electricity grid code is applicable now central electricity regulatory commission has come up with a draft grid code 2022 so draft grid code 
will consolidate all the laws, Constitution Act, Rules, Regulation and Gazette Notification, which are required to run the largest machine in India, which is the grid. And it is called the Indian Electricity Grid Code. All right. That's wonderful. So the counter question may be that, uh, uh, sir, Supreme Court of India, Appellate Tribunal of ele uh, Electricity, kya ye law nahi banate? The answer is that the Appellate Tribunal of Electricity of India, High Court and Supreme Court will interpret the law. If there is a dispute within and without the power sector, then you go to the appropriate court, whether it is High Court or Appellate Tribunal of Electricity or Supreme Court, whenever there is requirement, and then they will interpret the energy laws. So, Sanvi, the answer in short is that the energy law comprises of five things. Number one, constitution, which defines who has powers to make law with respect to energy sector. Number two, acts. So, since electricity is a joint responsibility, uh, central parliament and state legislature can both can make laws and they have made laws. Third is rules. So, central government and state government both can make rules. Fourth is regulations. Regulations are made by independent regulatory commission in India. We have Central Electricity Regulatory Commission, State Electricity Regulatory Commission and Joint Electricity Regulatory Commission. Together, they are independent regulatory commission. And fifth component of law is Gazette notification with respect to energy sector. Together, they comprise and they are called energy laws in India. So that was a wonderful question. Hope I have answered the question. Back to you, Sandeep. Thank you, sir. This is indeed very helpful. Dear well-wishers, to support Right to Energy and our efforts, Kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel. In case you would like me to ask any other questions from Mr. Rat Singh Niranjan, please write them in the comment section and I would be delighted to take them up. Signing off, Sanvi Singh. Dijaf Namaskar.